What's up everyone, Saints fan back again with another GTA 5 video and could we be seeing the next update much sooner than expected despite the drip feeding of the unreleased cars going on for so long? Well today we might actually have our first clue regarding that. And this is coming from the Steam database website. And if you guys have been following my channel or just following like GTA leaks and news and DLC info in the past, you probably know what the Steam database website is. Basically, you can go in there and see when Rockstar update certain aspects or certain parts of the game. And over time, we've sort of figured out which folders and which branches of the game are important to the updates because there's a pattern, you know, they, they always update a certain folder before an update comes out. And that's actually what happened today. So we can just look at this from Foxy Snaps tweets. He goes, interesting, QA beta updated to build 200 five seven six five or six one and then his next tweet it may be a launcher slash social club update because the folders that he put at the bottom of the first tweet he says two seven one five nine one is the exe and two seven one five nine two is the installers folder it was not two seven one five nine four which would mean it's an update. I know that sounds kind of confusing, but basically those numbers correlate to folders that are in the game, and that's sort of what gets the updates. So you can see, according to his first tweet, the two folders that got updated were not really relevant to, to an update to the game. The one that you're going to want to look out for is 271594. That would mean it's probably going to be an update for the game. And lo and behold, a few hours later, He's tweeted this. Now they just updated QA Beta Depot 271594, the update folder with that build ID. So what does this mean? Does this mean an update's gonna be coming out, you know, really soon? Like in the next week or two? No. The the well, first, the drip feeding of the cars is still going on. We still have three cars left. We have the XA21, the Ardent, and the Night Shark. So obviously they're not gonna do anything until those are out in the GT Online world. But what this could indicate is that the update is a lot sooner than expected because if they are currently updating the update folder, basically, then I would imagine that probably has to do with stuff they wanna test for the next update. Now, the only other alternative reason for this to be happening right now is because of the Polito Bay Triangle sort of mess that's that's up in Polito Bay. Basically, I made a video on it if you didn't watch it and you want to know everything about it, but a quick summary of it. If you go into this specific spot in Polito Bay in free mode, even while delivering items and supplies and stuff, then whatever car or whatever you're in, regardless of your inner car, if you just go swim out there, you will get teleported back to the beach. And if you're in a car and or a plane or something, it'll die. It'll crash and it'll get blown up. And obviously that's something that has affected people when they go and sell certain like MC stuff, like the, the supplies there or the product there or even gun running stuff. People will fly over the ocean over there and they just die. And it, it sucks because they lose everything. So what FunMW2 actually said was that most likely this is a new patch for all platforms to hotfix that Polito Bay issue they can't be releasing a new update obviously until the drip feed is done and then they also said update RPF which is that folder 271594 has the game scripts and other textures and it also contains the game exe so it does need to be updated for the fixes as well the only way it doesn't need to be updated is if it was just a you know GTA launcher or social club fix but if it's something you know relating to the game, that 271594 folder needs to be updated. But the only thing, and maybe you guys can correct me in the comment section, but over the years, I can't remember Rockstar releasing an update that that changes something, like a downloadable update that fixed something in the game by itself. You know, yes, they've hot fixed a few things, but that doesn't require an update you actually have to download. This, from what I gather, it would be an update you have to download that does fix that Plato Bay issue because it's probably too complicated for them to fix just by hot fixing it. So that's why I'm kind of sort of speculating here that they may be fast tracking the next DLC in order to fix that Plato Bay issue because I know if, well at least I believe it's still this way on the console for the Xbox One and PS4, if you like, if a, a developer or studio releases a patch or something, some sort of update, I think they have to pay for it. I don't know if that's been changed 
for the new consoles, but I know back on the 360 and the PS3, like the people, they had to pay like $50,000 or some crazy number to release an update. And that's why a lot of companies didn't release these updates very frequently. Where on PC, it, it's free. That's why they can update as many times as they want without having to worry. But if that's still in place, then I, I definitely don't see them releasing an update just to fix that problem without releasing other content, you know, to go along with it. And I guess that's kind of where I want to end this video. I mean, so far, if you think about it, you know, relating to the next DLC, we've had drug running, we've had gun running, we've had vehicle running, we've even had cargo running. So if they just continue that theme, you know, what's next? You know, some people were speculating we're going to get human trafficking, but Jesus, there's no, like, look, I know Rockstar do things that are controversial and all that, but that, I feel like that is just way too much. Like, there's no way that, uh, people in the world you know that get upset at everything there's no way they would let that slide and I, I doubt rockstar want some sort of massive like scandal on their hands you know kind of so I, I doubt we'll see that uh but yeah I, I, the next update is really up in the air as to what it's gonna be I, I really have no idea apart from my whole speculation of gun running part two someone said maybe they they revisit like car racing in free roam like that's one thing that i think would be kind of cool if done right because racing is, is fun, but having to to leave the, the free room lobby, go into another lobby, and just wait there for, you know, a few minutes, that's kind of annoying. So if you could somehow make racing in free room, that would be kind of cool. Like, they would have to balance it so jets and other ple people can't kill you. But that was something, and obviously that can come with a bunch of new cars, like import cars. So I, I don't know if that's something that people would be interested in. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop rambling now. That is everything with the info. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you believe that update to the update folder was just a fix for the Polito Bay issue? Or do you think it is secretly the next update and we might be seeing it a lot sooner than expected? I mean, it could very well happen sometime in September. I believe that's sort of when they plan on releasing Red Dead Redemption 2. So maybe they're releasing a GTA update now that Red Dead Redemption 2 has been delayed. I don't know. That's just something to think about. But anyway, that is it. Thank you all for watching. Please drop the video like if you'd enjoy. Subscribe for more awesome GTA content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.